Hi, my name is Dreads. I walk on walls. Up, down, step, 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 up, down, step, step. This is called wall sauna. Special urban yoga. Ground it out. Yes, here I go. My name is DJ Trez. I'm happy. <laughs> I love it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good look. <laughs> so, running on the walls is what I do when I'm waiting for people on the tour. <laughs> it was a good look. Bouncing off the walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah bouncing. I first met all the Rhyme Says dudes doing my like hip hop search back in the day, checking out the Midwest area. I found some record stores in Chicago. Uh, there was one called Gramophone, one called Beat Parlor. Shouts out to JR and Duro, who used to hold those down. And uh, just asking around like, who's the hip hop buyer? Where are the DJs at? Heard about this DJ called Third Rail out in Chicago. And uh, before I knew it, me and AC, we're out there in Chicago doing a show and Atmosphere opened up for us. That was back in like 96, 97. I think they just had Overcast out or Lucy Ford or whatever. So that was like the first time that I had met Slug. He had Idea, a young Idea with him. And uh, I saw their product out there in the stores and I saw how kids reacted to their show. And I was like, wow, that kind of reminds me of what we got going on in LA. My album was originally called Dear Abby. And really, Sadiq over at Rhyme Sayers, he asked me what did I feel about changing it to Rejuvenation. Because I had a song on there called Rejuvenation, which I'm sure y'all probably heard by now. And we, we leaked that one early anyway. It made sense, because it was like, after all these years, I'm being rejuvenated. And Vitamin D was Sadiq's idea too. This cat named Johnny Merlot, Jasiri John out in Seattle, a uh, source of labor original affiliation from way back in the day. He works with Vita and Sadiq and all of them work together. Vita's done production on other Rhyme Sayers people, so they just got at me and was like, yo, you should get out with Vita on the record, see if you like his stuff, and I did. The rest is history. Over the last couple of years, my relationship with Rhyme Sayers has evolved. It's been very productive. I first went out in 08 on a tour with Brother Ali, the Truth Is Here tour. And it was Brother Ali, BK1, Toki Wright, and myself. And we went all over. We did like 30 shows in 32 days. It was crazy. Then after that, that spring, I did a tour with Atmosphere. We did the uh, release party tour for their new album, When Life Gives You Lemons, You Paint That Shit Go. Then I went back out with Atmosphere to do the Paint the Nation tour. And we went all over the nation. It was like over 50 dates, a bunch of festivals. And I've been worked into the, into the family as kind of like an LA affiliate. The album launch was dope. The record came out May 5th. I got a lot of support. We set out to go on tour on May 5th. We added a date on May the 2nd in Palm Springs, Cathedral City actually. That ended up being dope. And it was sick. Myself, Haiku D'Etat, ACLO, Mike and I, DJ Drez. We also took No Can Do, one of our youngest homies from Customer Service, Project Blow. And uh, I'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek into that. Yo, we just started the tour. We back on Root Nation TV, you know what I'm saying? I got Mike and I, Doc <laughs> Key. <laughs> No can no do, can do. What's going on? Max in the back. It's all love, Root Nation TV. So here we are backstage at uh, San Francisco at the Independent. And it's looking pretty good. Nice and calm, nice and calm. Let's uh, see what's happening in the other room over here. Let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> How you guys doing?
Yes, the LA show was sold out. I apologize to all those people that couldn't get in. You should have got there early. You should have known it was going to sell out. We did it at the airliner. But uh, much respect to Gigi and Leviathan over there. And stay tuned. There will be an encore show somewhere. I don't know where yet. Sound set is a festival that Rhyme Sayers puts on that's huge. I found out Farside was going to be there. I saw AWOL 1 on the bill. So I was like, man, let's have like a little LA West Coast reunion or something. So I was able to bring Mike and AC and Drez. It was like 20,000 people. It was just ridiculous. Easily the best hip hop festival with nothing but independent hip hop acts on the bill that America has to offer. <laughs> Do I feel rejuvenated? Yes, I do. I really do. I feel like it's time to get back out there and just set sail, you know what I mean? And, and flourish and continue to just blossom, continue to grow, continue to lay y'all with more music from the soul and the grassroots. Much respect.